Hi, seventh grade pre-algebra students. This is Schlager. Follows is a video depicting a day in the life of an online distance learning math student. So you're gonna wake up in the morning, you're gonna go onto your computer, you're ready to rock. Rapid Identity is your source of everything. We're gonna click on Schoology. It's gonna take you to all your courses. I'm gonna click on math because that's where we're at right now. And in the My Math folder, you'll see only four things. These gray things you don't have access to anymore. I'm working on that. So this green folder that says Current Topic is where we're at. So I'm going to click on that. And in that folder, you'll see another folder that's labeled for this week. Today happens to be Thursday, the 2nd. Uh, so I'm going to click on this folder because that's where today would be. And at this point, Thursday, the second, you'll see four folders available, and this fifth one you won't see until tomorrow. So they're actually time activated. So since today is Thursday, it says 10-6, finding the area of a circle day one. I'm going to click on that folder that's labeled today, and I see two things here. I see a 10-6, finding the area checklist, and I see a checkout. So I'm going to click on the checklist first, and that checklist is going to illustrate everything that I need to do today. So in math class, this is what you do. You go to Schoology, you click on today's checklist, and you follow it step by step. Step one, update your table of contents in your book. If you're in Schlager's class, we're on a different page in our notebooks. In fact, some of us are on different pages than others of us even within the classes. So go ahead and just keep up where you are. Uh, write the essential question at the top of the page. It's extremely important we practice good organization skills during this time. Now more than ever, we need to be uh, careful about staying organized. Step three, watch and take notes on the following videos. You may need to watch more than once. Please pause them as you need to to understand. Uh, guys, I don't know if you know this, but I, I finished my master's degree all online. So it was a year and a half of online school, and oh my gosh, when teachers posted videos, I appreciated it because I could pause them, and I could, sometimes I just needed to pause to let something soak in before being mentally ready for the next thing the teacher was going to say. So sometimes a 20-second pause and reflection goes a long way. We want things to be efficient and helpful for you, uh, so so that's part of it too. 20 seconds now might save you five minutes of trying to relearn something later. Uh, rewinding and rewatching is another excellent idea. So we've got one, two, three, four videos here. And then with a little note here, make sure you're reading those notes because it tells you specifically what we're expecting you to do. And when we create these lessons, we have an image in mind of, oh, if the students do this, it will help them the most. If you take shortcuts or cut things out, then you are missing on things that we are expecting that you're doing. And it throws us off a little bit when we're creating this material for you. So please be diligent, stay organized, follow the steps. Uh, the last step every day will be to open the checkout on Schoology and tell us that you finished everything. So I'm going to go back to today's folder. I'm going to click into the checkout. My view as a teacher might be a little different than yours. Um, so I'm going to hit preview so we can see what you see. And here it is. I completed all the things today, meaning I attended virtual math class. It's essential that you complete this checkout uh, during the day that the lesson is uh, on because this is how we will take attendance. So we want to get in the habit of doing this every single day. Okay, I hope this helps you understand what a day in math class will be like before I exit out. As I was saying this, I was thinking, oh, there's one more thing I want to mention. Some days you'll have a homework assignment. So I'm going to go back to Tuesday because on Tuesday, on Tuesday's checklist, we had you watch two videos and then step four said go to Pearson and do the 10-5 homework assignment. Do it on this page in your notebooks. Schlager's class might be different. Check out this video if you can't remember how to log in. So on Tuesdays, I did post a video on how to log in. But while I have you here, I'm going to just remind you that our homework in seventh grade math is on Pearson. So that's the fourth tile on my rapid identity screen. If you click into Pearson, as you know, sometimes uh, an error comes up uh, just like this. It says you haven't signed in in a while. Continue 
and then it'll bump you out. So I'm going to just X that screen and I'm going to try a second time. And it, for me, it always works on the second time. There we go. So I'm going to go to my classes. I'm going to click on my second hour of pre-algebra class and the 10-5 assignment is here, just like it said it would be on Tuesday's checklist sheet. So go ahead, click into that, uh, give it a shot. And like all your teachers are telling you, but we can't say this enough, we are here to help. Okay. The lesson part is on uh, videos and you're taking notes on it, but we want to be here to assist you with the uh, uh, homework and the practice piece. So email us. Do not hesitate to email us. Be as clear and concise as you can. I love it when students send screenshots in their email because it helps me help them the fastest. We want school to be uh, quick and efficient for you so that you're learning a lot and you're not spending extra time doing it. I have a crying baby, so I got to go. Hope you guys are doing great. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.